Good afternoon. I'm Alexandra Klitina, journalist of Kyiv Post. Today with us, Evgeny Berznitsky, a founder of Kyiv Art Week. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Hello. You've been very active in uh, Kyiv with art in art sector. Each year it's been Kyiv Art Week. Uh, I think it's in May, right? Yeah, it's every year in May uh, and, and until uh, COVID. Until COVID happened. Uh, yeah, it was five years in a row, and in a row it's the biggest uh, contemporary art event in Kyiv. How Russia's uh, full-scale invasion affected to your activity? Well, directly, of course. Uh, the, the, the festival doesn't happen until our uh, glorious victory, of course. But other than that, I changed the scope. Continue to work as a cultural manager, but uh, we, uh, with team, went out to the territory of cultural diplomacy. Because under these circumstances, uh, every uh, little effort helps to achieve our victory and uh, we fight on the cultural uh, fronts. We launched several projects which are um, uh, focused on the countries where there is limited support uh, of Ukrainian. So you, you're working with uh, Zelensky, with president office, right? Not with president's office, with uh, first ladies. First ladies. <laughs> yes, uh, office okay. and also with Ministry of Foreign Affairs. These are our counterparts and we uh, try to do to support their efforts to, to be visible in the um, humanitarian field and then cultural field as well. But what exactly events uh, you are planning? Uh, so can you tell a few words? We have had uh, an exhibition of photodocumentalistic in Tbilisi. Uh, Georgians uh, love Ukraine very much, but there is a pro-Russian government and there is a certain problem and we have to fight this problem. And it was uh, the photo exhibition of atrocities which were inflicted to Ukrainian civilians by Russian army. It's a very, very powerful project uh, shown. There was um, a Ukraine recovery conference in Lugano in Switzerland. It was on the highest diplomatic and governmental levels. We showed there a video of uh, ruinations which were inflicted by a shelling of Russian army in Irpin, Bucha and Gostomel. And actually it was done in order so that uh, participants of conference were recognizing the fact that Ukraine is really being suffering. I think I've seen this video. It's with Zelensky, right? You might have seen this video on Zelensky profile uh, yes. in Instagram. Yeah, there was, it's, it was, it's, it's, it's a great, cool video. really. Yeah. It shows uh, what happened there and uh, it's full atmosphere there. But do you feel a growing interest from international art market to Ukrainian art to some performances, exhibitions? Yes, uh, there is an interest. I'm, I'm just a little bit um, upset that the interest is not like 100% uh, purely professional. It's more now on hype because everything Ukrainian considered to be hype and uh, sometimes not very professional art is being shown. It's, 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 not, it's not bad, but uh, it doesn't form the actual face of Ukrainian art, of Ukrainian culture. That's still a very good opportunity for Ukrainian culture to be shown and to, be, to become visible. Because we always had a problem that our culture understood and shown through uh, some intermediates. Russian curators were in, including Ukrainian artists into their projects. When you do the, the exhibition outside uh, of Ukraine, they would always tell, oh, there is a Russian gallery or the Russian art artist ancestry, perception, yeah, right? perception, which we have to fight. And that's what uh, our mission is. Is it true that some Ukrainian artists went to front to fight with Russians? Yeah, that's absolutely uh, truth. Quite a lot of uh, young guys really went uh, to fight. But it's not only actually artists, but also people from creative sector, uh, journalists, videographers, people from movies. And everybody is equal in face of, of the danger uh, to our country. Are you planning any event in Kiev or it's planned abroad more mainly? Yes, we uh, scheduled one event which is going to be done together with Ministry of Foreign Affairs and uh, Ministry of Defense. It's uh, going to be a historical exhibition, going to be shown in, uh, on 14th of October. It's an exhibition foreign diplomats uh, to, to show that there is a glorious history of Ukraine fighting against Russia through the centuries and how Ukrainian military were taking part in different European and American wars and what was their position there. It should be a great project then. So good luck and thank you for this interview. I greatly appreciate thank it. You. Thank you.